Feel free to tweet us at Sky Luca. Uh, a very fascinating game coming up. Luca Bressel, the youngest player ever to play in the World Championship two years ago. And as I mentioned, a lot of people do feel one day he will go all the way. Let's join our boys in the box for this one. Neil Foles and first up, Willie Thorne. Your choice. Okay. Thank you very much indeed. And this is a match of two very, very young stars, Luca Bessel from Belgium. Thank you, the fifth man. In Luca Bessel, the Got to be honest, Neil, I thought Luca would have done better than he has so far. He looked a real prospect three or four years ago. Yes, he got to the crucible and he took Steve Maguire fairly close on his debut. He quitted himself well. His day will come. He's too talented a player for that not to happen. And he's going to get a chance here. Not similar to Judd Trump when he first came on the scene. Two years, didn't have much success, then bang. On a ranking event in China. World Championship finalist. One. Castelli is very talented. Pretty quick player. Yes, I've always liked watching him play. I suppose we, we say sometimes, sometimes they can be too impetuous. Go, go for all sorts of attacking shots. But I think that's the game today. Play aggressive. Nine. Oh, I completely agree. And an early chance here, and who knows what doing well in this event could do for his confidence. Well, it was a stepping stone, wasn't it, for Barry Hawkins? Neil, I mean, Barry Hawkins, we've all known as, as, as previous it's players, and of course as players on the circuit. But Barry Hawkins was a very, very good player, but never fulfilled his potential until he won this tournament. Oh, that's a great point. He went on to win a ranking event that summer in Australia. The Goldfields Open. And of course, as many people will remember, last spring, a World Championship finalist. So, yeah, he got him back on track. Well, he's had a big shot there, a big screw shot. But which colour, which red rather, did he play on? That's what Ben Williston might be asking. I can presume he played the screw right onto the back red that was behind the black, but got away with it. hasn't really took off yet this, this tournament so far this year. We've had four, four very good frames, but no, no sizable breaks. Look at the plant. Don't know if it's on. It might just hit the top jaw. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Did look at it. It was in line with the pocket, but he couldn't hit it directly. One. Very good player, Ben Wollison. I've known him. Since he first held a cue, he was the player by Club in Leicester. And uh, we've been blessed with good players from that club. Mark Selby, of course, Dan Wollaston, Tom Ford, Sturdish de Gear. There's four good Leicester players anymore. Well, I used to be okay. I don't remember that far back, Willie. <laughs> Five. Well, I'll get that one in early. He, he was a, a really good junior player. I remember that at the time. Rob shoulders with Judd Trump. It's ben there. Wilson, and another chance this for Luca Brassell. Wow. That pocket was tough. I mean, I didn't think he hit that that bad. Well, the fact that Red didn't come away from the pocket tells you it was very close. One. Got to get the right balance between playing with a smile on your face and hoping to get through a few rounds and picking up money and chance to progress. It's a difficult combination. Eight. Ben's had a good few results just lately. Beat O'Sullivan in tournament Nine. play. We saw what O'Sullivan did last week. Probably plays some of the best Luke we've ever seen. But Ben Mullison has beaten Ronnie in a ranking event. Yeah, I remember he was falling up over Ding Shen Wee. Beijing. Season before last. And unfortunately lost 5-4 in a ranking event. That would have been a big breakthrough, a big ding in China didn't quite happen. 17. I agree that he's a very fine player. He's got a good cue ball control, I think. That's probably the Leicester thing, is it, Willie? Well, I have to be said, they used to kind of uh, watch me a little bit and things, so... But despite that, they're despite still Despite that, yeah. I mean, I must admit, they didn't watch my safety very often. <laughs> That's a good shot. Let's keep the break going. It's just gone favourite now. Of course, he's 13 points in front and counting, and... Uh, this one of the, when it's in this kind of format, you've just got to literally make a 40 rate when you get in the balls and you're virtually guaranteed to win. 32. Difficult to run the clock down if, uh, after the five minutes are up or into the ten seconds per shot. You can take a little bit more time. 
We've got a lot of time here, though. Just be very quick. Just in time. In about half a second, and being a time foul, should have lost him the match. Instead, he's okay. That's not one of his best. Four Probably play for a bought colour here. It's a bit risky to play for the, for the black. It is. Uh, play for a bought colour. This takes the white away. Lucas from 28 points behind. Still enough time. Plenty of time left. Yeah, he's probably got one more chance after this, perhaps. And then he'll have to start to think about scoring wherever the balls are. Four minutes, you could make a 50 break. Players have done it before in the shootout. At the moment, Wollaston will try and nurse that lead along. In whichever form of the game you play, you can put your opponent on the ball cushion, you're not doing well. Because that is a place nobody likes to play shots from, and that's the result. Wollaston in with a great chance once again. That was good. It's a good safety shot that, was, uh, that went before it. One. Looks really slightly this wrong angle on the yellow, but the red to the left of the pink obviously is the one he'll be looking for. Now, I've got to be a little bit careful here. In this situation, unless he's guaranteed to pot this red and get on the black, this is the kind of situation where in one frame format, sometimes it might be best to bite the bullet and play a safety shot, but he's gonna, if he pots it, he wins, you see? Now, all of a sudden now, Lucas got a chance to win the frame and match. That's a great point. He could have easily played safe, kept his opponent at long range, used a bit of time in doing so. What he didn't want to leave this. As I said, there is enough time. Lucas does not have to rush just yet, but that cue ball has never stopped rolling. And amazingly finished perfect. Uh, probably not only the scores, but the amount of time. Four. The red below the pink is not possible. Uh, he hasn't played that shot very well. He's played that one well. Goodness me, what a great shot. Fabulous shot. Yeah. I've got plenty of time. The question now of staying at the table, constructing a break from here. I think it's all going to be about the red on the left of the table. Thank you whether he can go on and win this frame. Oh, that was the one he had to get, though. This is the sound Very careless, wasn't he? The black wasn't he, to make contact with the pink. Made the red a lot more difficult than it should have been. One. Well, one of the situations near where I wouldn't be playing to get on this red. <laughs> I'd be playing it in a position to play a very good safety shot. Yeah, I think the tandem was the only way, and it was brilliantly played. So now the time isn't quite as important as just getting Nine. too many points in front. If you pop the brown and the yellow, then it doesn't matter about time. It means that uh, Luca Brasel wants a snooker. Now this is a big shot if he's playing this brown to get on the yellow. Well, he, <laughs> he didn't exactly play on the yellow there, really, did he? Don't blame him at all. One good safety shot now. It's very, very tough okay. for Luca to win the frame. I still maintain that there is still time if the chance comes, but it's probably got to be soon. Ben Willison, thank you. Wow, what a fabulous shot now then. This could be a thriller. Still got a minute 20. He's not going to be too hasty on anything, really. Absolutely. I don't know whether he plays shots left-handed, but he probably needs to play one left-handed here. Really, I can tell you now. He, he can play with the rest, but he can also play left-handed. I've seen it. He's going to be on the rest this time. This is the key shot. That's the key shot. Now, is he going to be on the pink? Needs that to slow down. Oh, betwixt in between. Not good. a real pity for Luca. And this is a really edgy conclusion. Don't think Ben will be rushing to play a shot here. Don't blame him. 
running the clock down and of course he knows that this goes in his one. What a finish, brilliant stuff. Ben Wollaston wins, it was a thriller and Ethan Mann makes it through to the last 32.